The biological family Canidae from Latin, canis, dog is a lineage of carnivorans that includes domestic dogs, wolves, coyotes, foxes, jackals, dingoes, and many other extant and extinct dog-like mammals. A member of this family is called a canid. The cat-like feliformia and dog-like caniforms emerged within the Carnivora morpha 43 million years before present. The caniforms included the fox-like genus Leptoseon whose various species existed from 34 million years ago Maya before branching 11.9 Maya into Vulpini foxes and Canidae canines. .Canids are found on all continents except Antarctica, having arrived independently or accompanied human beings over extended periods of time. Canids vary in size from the 2m long 6 feet 7 in gray wolf to the 24 cm long 9.4 in fennec fox. The body forms of canids are similar, typically having long muzzles, upright ears, teeth adapted for cracking bones and slicing flesh, long legs, and bushy tails. They are mostly social animals, living together in family units or small groups and behaving cooperatively. Typically, only the dominant pair in a group breeds, and a litter of young is reared annually in an underground den. Canids communicate by scent signals and vocalizations. One canid, the domestic dog, long ago entered into a partnership with humans and today remains one of the most widely kept domestic animals. Taxonomy <inaudible> 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 In the history of the carnivores, the family Canidae is represented by the two extinct subfamilies designated as Hesperoceonini and Borophagini, and the extant subfamily Canini. This subfamily includes all living canids and their most recent fossil relatives. All living canids as a group form a dental monophyletic relationship with the extinct barophagenes, with both groups having a bicuspid two points on the lower carnassial talonid, which gives this tooth an additional ability in mastication. This, together with the development of a distinct entoconid cusp and the broadening of the talonid of the first lower molar, and the corresponding enlargement of the talon of the upper first molar and reduction of its parastyle distinguish these late Cenozoic canids and are the essential differences that identify their clade. <laughs> Phylogenetic relationships Within the Canidae, the results of allozyme and chromosome analyses have previously suggested several phylogenetic divisions. The wolf-like canids genus Canis, Cuon, and Lycaon include the domestic dog Canis lupus familiaris, gray wolf Canis lupus, red wolf Canis rufus, eastern wolf Canis lycaon, coyote Canis latrans, Eurasian golden jackal Canis aureus, African golden wolf Canis anthus, Ethiopian wolf Canis simensis, black-backed jackal Canis mesomelas, side-striped jackal Canis adistus, dole, Cuon alpinus, and African wild dog, Lycaon pictus. The fox-like canids include the kit fox, Vulps velox, red fox, Vulps vulps, cape fox, Vulps chama, arctic fox, Vulps largopus, and fennec fox, Vulps zerda. The South American canids include the bush dog Speothos veneticus, hoary fox Lycalopex uethulus, crab-eating fox Cardoceon thaus, and maned wolf Chrysocyon brachiurus. Various monotypic taxa include the bat-eared fox Otoceon megalotus, gray fox Eurocyon cinerio argenteus, and raccoon dog Nycteroides procyanoides. .DNA analysis shows that the first three form monophyletic clades. The wolf-like canids and the South American canids together form the tribe Canini. 
Molecular data imply a North American origin of living canidae some 10 mya and an African origin of wolf-like canines Canis, Cuon, and Lycaon, with the jackals being the most basal of this group. The South American clade is rooted by the maned wolf and bush dog, and the fox-like canids by the fennec fox and Blanford's fox. The gray fox and island fox are basal to the other clades, however, this topological difference is not strongly supported. The cladogram below is based on the phylogeny of Lindblad To al. 2005, modified to incorporate recent findings on Canis, Vulps, Lycalopex, and Duchetsian species. Evolution <inaudible> 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 The Canidae today include a diverse group of some 34 species ranging in size from the maned wolf with its long limbs to the short-legged bush dog. Modern canids inhabit forests, tundra, savannas, and deserts throughout tropical and temperate parts of the world. The evolutionary relationships between the species have been studied in the past using morphological approaches, but more recently, molecular studies have enabled the investigation of phylogenetic relationships. In some species, genetic divergence has been suppressed by the high level of gene flow between different populations and where the species have hybridized, large hybrid zones exist. Topic: Eocene epoch. Carnivorans evolved from meacoids about 55 Maya during the late Paleocene. Some 5 million years later, the carnivorans split into two main divisions: caniforms (dog-like) and feliforms (cat-like). By 40 Maya, the first member of the dog family proper had arisen. Called Prohospirocyon wilsoni, its fossilized remains have been found in what is now the southwestern part of Texas. The chief features which identify it as a canid include the loss of the upper third molar part of a trend toward a more shearing bite, and the structure of the middle ear which has an enlarged bulla the hollow bony structure protecting the delicate parts of the ear. Prohospirocyon probably had slightly longer limbs than its predecessors, and also had parallel and closely touching toes, which differ markedly from the splayed arrangements of the digits in bears. The canid family soon subdivided into three subfamilies, each of which diverged during the Eocene: Hesperocyon and I, about 39.74 to 15 Maya; Borophagin I, about 34 to 2 Maya; and Canon I, about 34 to. 0 Maya. The Canini are the only surviving subfamily and all present-day canids, including wolves, foxes, coyotes, jackals, and domestic dogs, belong to it. Members of each subfamily showed an increase in body mass with time and some exhibited specialized hypercarnivorous diets that made them prone to extinction. Topic: Oligocene epoch. By the Oligocene, all three subfamilies of canids Hesperocyonini, Borophagini, and Canini had appeared in the fossil records of North America. The earliest and most primitive branch of the Canidae was the Hesperocyonini lineage, which included the coyote-sized Mesocyon of the Oligocene, 38 to 24 Maya. These early canids probably evolved for the fast pursuit of prey in a grassland habitat, they resembled modern civets in appearance. Hesperocyonines eventually became extinct in the Middle Miocene. One of the early members of the Hesperocyonines, the genus Hesperocyon, gave rise to Archaeocyon and Leptocyon. These branches led to the barophagene and canine radiations. Topic: Miocene Epoch. 
Around 9 to 10 Maya during the late Miocene, the Canis, Eurocyon, and Vulps genera expanded from southwestern North America, where the canine radiation began. The success of these canines was related to the development of lower carnassials that were capable of both mastication and shearing. Around 8 Maya, the Beringian land bridge allowed members of the genus Eucian a means to enter Asia and they continued on to colonize Europe. <laughs> Pliocene epoch During the Pliocene, around 4 to 5 Maya, Canis lepophagus appeared in North America. This was small and sometimes coyote like. Others were wolf like in characteristics. C. Le trans the coyote is theorized to have descended from C. Lepophagus. The formation of the Isthmus of Panama, about 3 Maya, joined South America to North America, allowing canids to invade South America, where they diversified. However, the most recent common ancestor of the South American canids lived in North America some four Maya and more than one incursion across the new land bridge is likely. One of the resulting lineages consisted of the gray fox and the now extinct dire wolf Canis dirus. The other lineage consisted of the so-called South American endemic species, the maned wolf the short-eared dog microtus, the bush dog Spiothos the crab-eating fox thaus, and the South American foxes spp. The monophyly of this group has been established by molecular means. Topic: Pleistocene epoch. During the Pleistocene, the North American wolf line appeared, with Canis edwardi, clearly identifiable as a wolf, and Canis rufus appeared, possibly a direct descendant of C. edwardi. Around 0.8 Maya, Canis ambrusteri emerged in North America. A large wolf, it was found all over North and Central America and was eventually supplanted by its descendant, the dire wolf, which then spread into South America during the late Pleistocene. By 0.3 Maya, a number of subspecies of the gray wolf C. Lupus, had developed and had spread throughout Europe and Northern Asia. The gray wolf colonized North America during the late Rancolabrian era across the Bering Land Bridge, with at least three separate invasions, with each one consisting of one or more different Eurasian gray wolf clades. mtDNA studies have shown that there are at least four extant C. lupus lineages. The dire wolf shared its habitat with the gray wolf, but became extinct in a large-scale extinction event that occurred around 11,500 years ago. It may have been more of a scavenger than a hunter, its molars appear to be adapted for crushing bones and it may have gone extinct as a result of the extinction of the large herbivorous animals on whose carcasses it relied. In 2015, a study of mitochondrial genome sequences and whole genome nuclear sequences of African and Eurasian canids indicated that extant wolf like canids have colonized Africa from Eurasia at least five times throughout the Pliocene. Pliocene and Pleistocene, which is consistent with fossil evidence suggesting that much of African canid fauna diversity resulted from the immigration of Eurasian ancestors, likely coincident with Pleo Pleistocene climatic oscillations between arid and humid conditions. When comparing the African and Eurasian golden jackals, the study concluded that the African specimens represented a distinct monophyletic lineage that should be recognized as a separate species, Canis anthus African golden wolf. According to a phylogeny derived from nuclear sequences, the Eurasian golden jackal Canis aureus diverged from the wolf coyote lineage 1.9 Maya, but the African golden wolf separated 1.3 Maya. 
Mitochondrial genome sequences indicated the Ethiopian wolf diverged from the wolf coyote lineage slightly prior to that. Topic: Characteristics. Wild canids are found on every continent except Antarctica, and inhabit a wide range of different habitats, including deserts, mountains, forests, and grasslands. They vary in size from the fennec fox, which may be as little as 24 cm in, in length and weighs 0.6 kg to the gray wolf, which may be up to 160 cm long, and can weigh up to 79 kg only a few species are arboreal, the grey fox, the closely related island fox and the raccoon dog habitually climb trees, all canids have a similar basic form, as exemplified by the grey wolf, although the relative length of muzzle, limbs, ears and tail vary considerably between species. With the exceptions of the bush dog, the raccoon dog and some domestic breeds of Canis lupus, canids have relatively long legs and lithe bodies, adapted for chasing prey. The tails are bushy and the length and quality of the pelage varies with the season. The muzzle portion of the skull is much more elongated than that of the cat family. The zygomatic arches are wide, there is a transverse lambdoidal ridge at the rear of the cranium and in some species, a sagittal crest running from front to back. The bony orbits around the eye never form a complete ring and the auditory bully are smooth and rounded. All canids are digitigrade, meaning they walk on their toes. The tip of the nose is always naked, as are the cushion pads on the soles of the feet. These latter consist of a single pad behind the tip of each toe and a more or less three-lobed central pad under the roots of the digits. Hairs grow between the pads and in the arctic fox, the sole of the foot is densely covered with hair at some times of year. With the exception of the four-toed African wild dog Lycaean pictus, five toes are on the forefeet, but the pollux thumb is reduced and does not reach the ground. On the hind feet are four toes, but in some domestic dogs, a fifth vestigial toe, known as a duclaw, is sometimes present, but has no anatomical connection to the rest of the foot. The slightly curved nails are not retractile and more or less blunt. The penis in male canids is supported by a bone called the baculum. It also contains a structure at the base called the bulbus glandus, which helps to create a copulatory tie during mating, locking the animals together for up to an hour. Young canids are born blind, with their eyes opening a few weeks after birth. All living canids have a ligament analogous to the nuchal ligament of ungulates used to maintain the posture of the head and neck with little active muscle exertion. This ligament allows them to conserve energy while running long distances following scent trails with their nose to the ground. However, based on skeletal details of the neck, at least some of the borophagini such as Alluridin, are believed to have lacked this ligament. Topic. Dentition Dentition relates to the arrangement of teeth in the mouth, with the dental notation for the upper jaw teeth using the uppercase letters I to denote incisors, C for canines, P for premolars, and M for molars, and the lowercase letters I, C, P and M to denote the mandible teeth. Teeth are numbered using one side of the mouth and from the front of the mouth to the back. In carnivores, the upper premolar P4 and the lower molar M1 form the carnassials that are used together in a scissor like action to shear the muscle and tendon of prey. Canids use their premolars for cutting and crushing, except for the upper fourth premolar P4 the upper carnassial, that is only used for cutting. 
They use their molars for grinding except for the lower first molar M1 the lower carnassial that has evolved for both cutting and grinding depending on the candid's dietary adaptation. On the lower carnassial, the trigonid is used for slicing and the talonid is used for grinding. The ratio between the trigonid and the talonid indicates a carnivore's dietary habits, with a larger trigonid indicating a hypercarnivore and a larger talonid indicating a more omnivorous diet. Because of its low variability, the length of the lower carnassial is used to provide an estimate of a carnivore's body size. A study of the estimated bite force at the K9 teeth of a large sample of living and fossil mammalian predators, when adjusted for their body mass, found that for placental mammals the bite force at the canines was greatest in the extinct dire wolf 163, followed among the modern canids by the four hypercarnivores that often prey on animals larger than themselves, the African wild dog 142, the gray wolf 136, the dole 112, and the dingo 108. The bite force at the carnassials showed a similar trend to the canines. A predator's largest prey size is strongly influenced by its biomechanical limits. Most canids have 42 teeth, with a dental formula of 3.1.4, 23.1.4.3. The bush dog has only one upper molar with two below, the dole has two above and two below, and the bat-eared fox has three or four upper molars and four lower ones. The molar teeth are strong in most species, allowing the animals to crack open bone to reach the marrow. The deciduous, or baby teeth, formula in canids is 3.1.33.1.3, molars being completely absent. Topic: Life history. Topic: <laughs> Social behavior. Almost all canids are social animals and live together in groups. In general, they are territorial or have a home range and sleep in the open, using their dens only for breeding and sometimes in bad weather. In most foxes, and in many of the true dogs, a male and female pair work together to hunt and to raise their young. Gray wolves and some of the other larger canids live in larger groups called packs. African wild dogs have packs which may consist of 20 to 40 animals and packs of fewer than about seven individuals may be incapable of successful reproduction. Hunting in packs has the advantage that larger prey items can be tackled. Some species form packs or live in small family groups depending on the circumstances, including the type of available food. In most species, some individuals live on their own. Within a canid pack, there is a system of dominance so that the strongest, most experienced animals lead the pack. In most cases, the dominant male and female are the only pack members to breed. Canids communicate with each other by scent signals, by visual clues and gestures, and by vocalizations such as growls, barks and howls. In most cases, groups have a home territory from which they drive out other conspecifics. The territory is marked by leaving urine scent marks, which warn trespassing individuals. Social behavior is also mediated by secretions from glands on the upper surface of the tail near its root and from the anal glands. Reproduction Canids as a group exhibit several reproductive traits that are uncommon among mammals as a whole. They are typically monogamous, provide paternal care to their offspring, have reproductive cycles with lengthy prostral and diestral phases and have a copulatory tie during mating. 
They also retain adult offspring in the social group, suppressing the ability of these to breed while making use of the alloparental care they can provide to help raise the next generation of offspring. During the prostral period, increased levels of estradiol make the female attractive to the male. There is a rise in progesterone during the estral phase and the female is now receptive. Following this, the level of estradiol fluctuates and there is a lengthy diestrous phase during which the female is pregnant. Pseudo-pregnancy frequently occurs in canids that have ovulated but failed to conceive. A period of anestrus follows pregnancy or pseudo-pregnancy, there being only one estral period during each breeding season. Small and medium-sized canids mostly have a gestation period of 50 to 60 days, while larger species average 60 to 65 days. The time of year in which the breeding season occurs is related to the length of day, as has been demonstrated in the case of several species that have been translocated across the equator to the other hemisphere and experiences a six-month shift of phase. Domestic dogs and certain small canids in captivity may come into estrus more frequently, perhaps because the photoperiod stimulus breaks down under conditions of artificial lighting. The size of a litter varies, with from 1 to 16 or more pups being born. The young are born small, blind, and helpless and require a long period of parental care. They are kept in a den, most often dug into the ground, for warmth and protection. When the young begin eating solid food, both parents, and often other pack members, bring food back for them from the hunt. This is most often vomited up from the adult's stomach. Where such pack involvement in the feeding of the litter occurs, the breeding success rate is higher than is the case where females split from the group and rear their pups in isolation. Young canids may take a year to mature and learn the skills they need to survive. In some species, such as the African wild dog, male offspring usually remain in the natal pack, while females disperse as a group and join another small group of the opposite sex to form a new pack. <coughs> Canids and humans One canid, the domestic dog, entered into a partnership with humans a long time ago. The archaeological record shows the first undisputed dog remains buried beside humans 14,700 years ago, with disputed remains occurring 36,000 years ago. These dates imply that the earliest dogs arose in the time of human hunter-gatherers and not agriculturists. The dog was the first domesticated species. The fact that wolves are pack animals with cooperative social structures may have been the reason that the relationship developed. Humans benefited from the canids' loyalty, cooperation, teamwork, alertness and tracking abilities, while the wolf may have benefited from the use of weapons to tackle larger prey and the sharing of food. Humans and dogs may have evolved together. Among canids, only the gray wolf has widely been known to prey on humans. Nonetheless, at least two records have coyotes killing humans, and two have golden jackals killing children. Human beings have trapped and hunted some canid species for their fur and, especially the gray wolf, the coyote, and the red fox, for sport. Canids such as the dole are now endangered in the wild because of persecution, habitat loss, a depletion of ungulate prey species and transmission of diseases from domestic dogs. <laughs> Extant and recently extinct species All extant species of family Canidae are in subfamily Canini. Topic: <inaudible> Subfamily Canini. True dogs, tribe Canini. 
Genus Canis see also list of Canis species and subspecies which also includes some varieties Grey wolf, Canis lupus, 2.723 Maya to present Domestic dog, Canis lupus familiarize Dingo, most often classified as Canis lupus dingo Many other subspecies Red wolf, Canis rufus, sometimes considered a subspecies of the gray wolf, but including several subtaxa of its own, including the Florida black wolf. Eastern wolf, Canis lycaean. Coyote, Canis latrans, also called prairie wolf and brush wolf. Dire wolf, Canis dirus, 0.25 Maya. African golden wolf, Canis anthus. Golden Jackal, Canis aureus Ethiopian Wolf, Canis simensis also called Abyssinian Red Jackal, Simeon Fox and Simeon Jackal Side Striped Jackal, Canis adistus Black Backed Jackal, Canis mesomelas also called Silver Backed Jackal Genus Cuon Dole, Cuon alpinus or Canis alpinus, also called Asiatic wild dog. Genus Cynotherium. Sardinian dole, Cynotherium sardis. Genus Lycaon. African wild dog, Lycaon pictus, also called African hunting dog. Genus Atelocinus. Short-eared dog, Atelocinus microtus. Genus Cardoceon Crab eating fox, Cardoceon thaus Genus Duchetsian Falkland Islands wolf, Duchetsian australis Duchetsian avis Genus Lycalopex Pseudalopex Culpio, Lycalopex culpeus Fuegian dog, Lycalopex culpeus domesticus Darwin's fox, Lycalopex fulvipes South American gray fox, Lycalopex griseus Pampas fox, Lycalopex gymnocircus Saturan fox, Lycalopex setchery Hoary fox, Lycalopex vetulus Genus Chrysocyon Maned wolf, Chrysocyon brachiurus Genus Speothos Bushdog, Speothos veneticus True foxes, tribe Vulpini Genus Vulps Arctic fox, Vulps largopus Red fox, Vulps vulps 1 Maya to present Domesticated red fox, Vulps vulps amicus Swift fox, Vulps velox Kit fox, Vulps macrotus, Corsac fox, Vulps corsac, Cape fox, Vulps chama, Pale fox, Vulps pallida, Bengal fox, Vulps bengalensis, Tibetan sand fox, Vulps ferulata, Blanford's fox, Vulps canya, Ruppel's fox, Vulps rupoli. Fennec fox, Vulps zerda Genus Nycteroites Raccoon dog, Nycteroites procyanoides Genus Otocyon Bat-eared fox, Otocyon megalotis Genus Eurocyon two Maya to present Grey fox, Eurocyon cinereo argentius Island fox, Eurocyon littoralis Cozumel fox, Eurocyon sp. Topic: Prehistoric Canada. 
Except where otherwise stated, the following classification is based on a 1994 paper by Xiaoming Wang, curator of terrestrial mammals at the Natural History Museum of Los Angeles County on the systematics of the subfamily Hesperoceonini, a 1999 paper by Wang, together with the zoologists Richard H. Tedford and Beryl E. Taylor on the subfamily Borophagini, and a 2009 paper by Tedford, Wang and Taylor on the the North American fossil Canini. Topic Subfamily Canini. Genus Cynodictus. Genus Gobesian. Genus Protemnosian. Tribe Canini. Genus Canis. Canis adixis. Canis ameghinoi. Canis apolloniensis 1.1 Maya Canis armbrusteri 1.5 Maya Canis arnensis 1.9 to 1.6 Maya Canis courtly Canis cedarzoensis 4.6 Maya Canis dirus 0.125 to 0.009 Maya Canis Donizani, 4.0 to 3.1 Maya. Canis Edwardi, 4.6 Maya. Canis Eucian, Scipio, 8.2 Maya. Canis Etruscus, 1.9 to 1.6 Maya. Canis Ferox, 5 Maya. Canis Gezi. Canis Lepophagus, 8 Maya. Canis Mashoshi. Canis Uthmani Canis Mosbarkensis 0.5 Maya Canis Neringi Canis Variabilis 0.5 Maya Genus Theriodictus 1.19 Maya Theriodictus Platensis 1.8 Maya Theriodictus Tariensis 1.8 Maya Theriodictus canis proplatensis 2.1 Maya genus Protoceon Protoceon orsazi Protoceon scagliarum Protoceon troglodytes genus Cerdoceon Cerdoceon avius Cerdoceon ensenardensis genus Speothos Speothos passivorus Genus Neroceon Neroceon chonicariensis Genus Xenoceon Xenoceon falconeri 1.9 to 1.6 Maya Xenoceon lycaenoids 1.69 Maya Tribe Vulpini Genus Metalopex Metalopex baccari Metalopex macanelli Metalopex meriami Genus Vulps 7 Maya to present Vulps alopecoids 2.6 Maya Vulps cf alopecoids 2.6 Maya Vulps cf vulps 0.1275 Maya Vulps galaticus 4.2 Maya Vulps rifortai 7 Maya Basal canini Genus Nycteroides 7.1 Maya to present Nycteroides cf Donizani 7.1 Maya Nycteroides cf Megamastoids 3.158 Maya Nycteroides donizani 3.4 Maya Nycteroides megamastoids 2.6 Maya Nycteroides sinensis 3.4 Maya First canini Genus Eucian 8 Maya Eucian davisi 8 3 Maya probably the ancestor of Canis Eucian minor 8 Maya Eucian joey 8 Maya Eucian montesinensis 8 Maya Eucian odesinus 
genus Leptocyon, 24 to 16 Maya. Leptocyon wafer, 16 Maya. Leptocyon vulpinus, 24 Maya. Topic: Subfamily Borophaginae. Genus Archaeocyon, 7 Maya. Archaeocyon falconbachi, 10.2 Maya. Archaeocyon leptidus, 7 Maya. Archaeocyon pavidus, 7 Maya. Genus Otarocyon, 7.6 Maya. Otarocyon cookie, 4.5 Maya. Otarocyon McDonaldi, 0.6 Maya. Genus Oxytocyon, 2.5 Maya. Oxytocyon cuspidatus, 2.5 Maya. Genus Rhizocyon, 30 Maya. Rhizocyon oregonensis, 30 Maya. Tribe Fluocyonini, 27.2 Maya. Genus Synarctoids, 16.7 Maya. Synarctoids acridens, 11 Maya. Synarctoids emery, 4 Maya. Synarctoids gornai, 4 Maya. Synarctoids harloi, 4 Maya. Synarctoids lima, 30 Maya. Synarctoids luscensis, 4.2 Maya. Synarctoids roii, 4.5 Maya. Genus Fluocyon, 30 to 19 Maya. Fluocyon achoros. Fluocyon inectans, 22 Maya. Fluocyon latidens, 30 Maya. Fluocyon leucosteus, 22 Maya. Fluocyon marii. Fluocyon marslandensis, 19 Maya. Fluocyon minor, 30 Maya. Fluocyon multicuspis. Fluocyon tailori. Fluocyon yakali, 19 Maya. Tribe Borophagini, 16.7 Maya. Genus Cormosion, 10.2 Maya. Cormosion cope, 10.2 Maya. Cormosion hadini, 4.2 Maya. Genus Desmosion, 9 Maya. Desmosion mathui, 4.3 Maya. Desmosion thompsoni Genus Metatomarctus 4.3 Maya Metatomarctus cannabis 4.3 Maya Metatomarctus sp A 16 Maya Metatomarctus sp B 16 Maya Genus Euaplosion 18 to 16 Maya Euaplosion brachignathus, 16 Maya. Euaplosion spicidens, 18 Maya. Genus Solidocean, 16 Maya. Solidocean marianae, 16 Maya. Genus Microtomarctus, 4 Maya. Microtomarctus conferta, 17.67 Maya. Genus Protomarctus, 18 Maya. Protomarctus optatus, 18 Maya. Genus Tephrocyon, 16 Maya. Tephrocyon ruristris, 16 Maya. Subtribe Synarctina. Genus Parasynarctus, 6.7 Maya. Parasynarctus kellogi, 6.7 Maya. Parasynarctus sinclairi, 7 Maya. Genus Synarctus, 5.6 Maya. Synarctus crucidens, 1.3 Maya. Synarctus galushi, 2.7 Maya. Synarctus marylandica, 2.3 Maya. Synarctus saxitalis, 2.7 Maya. Synarctus vorhiesi, 3.3 Maya. Synarctus wongi, 1 Maya. Subtribe Alurodontina, 15 Maya. Genus Tomarctus, 7 Maya. 
Tomarctus brevirostris, 6.8 Maya. Tomarctus hippophaga, 7 Maya. Genus Alluridon, 15.7 Maya. Alluridon asthenostylus, 7 Maya. Alluridon ferox, 6 Maya. Alluridon magrewi, 2.7 Maya. Alluridon montanensis, 2.7 Maya. Alluridon sturtini, 6 Maya. Alluridon taxoides, 8.3 Maya. Subtribe Borophagina, 17 Maya. Genus Paratomarctus, 6 Maya. Paratomarctus euthos, 13 Maya. Paratomarctus temerarius, 16 Maya. Genus Carposion, 19.7 Maya. Carposion compressus, 2.7 Maya. Carposion limosus, 5 Maya. Carposion robustus, 3.3 Maya. Carposion webby, 6 Maya. Genus Protepician, 16 Maya. Protepician raki, 16 Maya. Genus Epicyon, 2 Maya. Epicyon alurodontoids, 5.4 Maya. Epicyon hadini, 5.4 Maya. Epicyon cyavus, 11.4 Maya. Genus Barophagus, 7 Maya. Barophagus diversidens, 5 Maya. Barophagus dudley, 1.7 Maya. Barophagus hilly, 6. 7 Maya. Barophagus littoralis, 0.6 Maya. Barophagus orc, 0.4 Maya. Barophagus parvus, 5.4 Maya. Barophagus pugnata, 8.3 Maya. Barophagus secundus, 8. 3 Maya. Topic: Subfamily Hesperocyonini. Maya equals million years ago. Genus Cynodesmus, 32 to 29 Maya. Cynodesmus martini, 29 Maya. Cynodesmus thoides, 32 Maya. Genus Chidocyon, Chidocyon tedfidi, Genus Ectoposinus, 32 to 19 Maya, Ectoposinus antiquus, 32 Maya, Ectoposinus intermedius, 29 Maya, Ectoposinus simplicidens, 19 Maya, Genus Enhydrocyon, 29 to 25 Maya. Enhydrocyon basilatus, 25 Maya. Enhydrocyon crassidens, 25 Maya. Enhydrocyon parhensintupa, 29 Maya. Enhydrocyon stenocephalus, 29 Maya. Genus Hesperocyon, 39, 74 to 34 Maya. Hesperocyon coloridensis. Hesperocyon gregarius, 37 Maya. Genus Mesocyon, 34 to 29 Maya. Mesocyon brachiops, 29 Maya. Mesocyon corypheus, 29 Maya. Mesocyon temnidin. Genus Osbornidin, 32 to 18 Maya. Osbornidin brachiops. Osbornidin fritzki 18 Maya Osbornidin i amonensis 21 Maya Osbornidin rengiae 33 Maya Osbornidin sicilis Osbornidin sesnoni 32 Maya Osbornidin wongi Genus paraenhydrocyon 30 to 25 Maya Paraenhydrocyon josephi, 30 Maya. Paraenhydrocyon robustus, 25 Maya. Genus Philotrox, 29 Maya. Philotrox condoni, 29 Maya. Genus Prohespirocyon, 36 Maya.
Pro Hespirocion Wilsoni, 36 Maya. Genus Sunkahetanka, 29 Maya. Sunkahetanka garingensis, 29 Maya. Topic. See also. Canid hybrid. Free-ranging dog